Hello everybody, today I'm gonna to be reacting to my cringe old videos from way back in 2021. It was a different era. I didn't even know what I was doing when it comes to filming, editing, or sometimes even speaking. Hope you're ready to cringe along with me as I revisit these moments. Today's video is sponsored by VR Wave, and I'll chat more about that in a little bit, but for now, let's take a look at the first video clip. Oh, I get, get it. Get, it's get like a, a shield, dressing huh? room, and then all the goblins are like, props. That's a, that's a cool idea. What the heck? Yeah, it's that. supposed to be like a school play, I think. Oh. <laughs> okay, this must be seriously like my first time playing Golden Trophy ever in Rec Room with my friend Flags. We don't talk about my live cam in the corner with my hair in complete disarray, okay? I'm so glad I stopped doing that. Ugh. And this is so long ago that Rec Room mirrors didn't even reflect on Quest 2 standalone. It's just this sad shade of gray. I wonder how our quest run is gonna turn out. Let's look at the next clip. Oh, he's almost dead. Ow! His health bar is like super low. Oh, he is. Help, help, help. Flex. Oh. No. No. That's brutal. Does it save? Oh, it does not oh, save. Oh, this ain't right. no pirates. We don't get a save point, I guess. Oh. That's sad. That was total absolute noob behavior. I can hardly stand to watch myself. Just swatting at the Goblin King randomly with swords, thinking we're all Gucci gamers, and then, of course, it ends in tragedy. I also realized from watching this that when I first started Rec Room, I just called Isle of Lost Skulls pirates. Hey, I'm Daniel. I knew so little, and I thought Golden Trophy must have save points like pirates. I thought Golden Trophy needed save points, that's even worse. Next, we have a clip from a horror map called Legend of Wendigo. Oh, you did? Oh. Are you dead? I did. Yeah. Oh no. It's yeah. going to the church place. No! All I can think here is I wonder how many views my ridiculous overreaction would get nowadays on YouTube. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Sadly, I'm not new to VR anymore and crappy 2021 Wendigo graphics don't really scare me that much, but as you can see in the corner from my live cam, I'm literally ducked down to hide behind a church podium and I remember this moment pretty vividly because I actually felt in danger and my heart was like racing out of control. Ugh. Well, let's see what happens. I am absolutely petrified right now. Oh, Karen, I'm in the church praying for my life and there's no communion wine in here so I'm really upset and I'm afraid to put my flashlight up because if I put my flashlight up I might see it and if I see it it might kill me. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what happened? What's what happened? <laughs> oh god. All right, the amount of melodrama here is killing me. This is painful to watch. In my defense though, I had never seen a Wendigo before and that background music was absolutely terrifying. Also, my subtitles are really mid. I can't beat myself up too much though since I was so new to editing at this time that I'm surprised I can even figure out how to put subtitles on screen. I'll spare you the jump scare ending here because it's so loud and I almost ripped off my headset. All right, moving on. If you're looking for the perfect beverage in the rec center, please look no further than Coach's Zero Calorie Sarsaparilla. It's got all of the flavor and none of the ingredients. If you're parched after a game of stunt runner or you're just looking to crack open a bottle with your friends, then look no further than Coach's Sarsaparilla. Okay, this is like the stupidest thing I've ever recorded, but it's so nostalgic. I couldn't even figure out how to make a short properly, like the aspect ratio is all off here. I remember sitting in the rec center and being bored, so I literally just took out some root beer and recorded this spur of the moment, and shockingly, somehow it actually did pretty well. I remember thinking, really? This? This is the thing that's gonna crack a thousand views on my channel? Yep. Gotta love Coach's root beer. It's got all the flavor and none of the ingredients. Before we continue on, let's take a moment to thank VR Wave for sponsoring today's video. They make VR accessories with a focus on prescription and non-prescription lenses that fit right into any headset. If you wear glasses and you're still putting that glasses spacer into your VR like it's 2020, there's a better way, my friend. With VR Wave's lenses, which just snap in all easy breezy right over top of your existing headset lenses, you will now be able to experience perfect vision and comfort while you play in VR. If you're not vision impaired, fear not. They also make blue light filter lenses, which protect your eyes from the strain that blue light exposure causes. In addition, either of these products protect your VR lenses from scratches, so overall it's a win-win. VR Wave is having a Christmas promo sale coming up, so now is the time to definitely check out the link to their website in the description below. All right, let's get back to my cringe old videos. At least there's no- <laughs> Oh my God, both of us screamed, me and whatever the hell that was, and you probably just swatted it away gently as you normally do. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was going with both hands, like, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, you're dying. Sorry. <laughs> if you could continue to go first, that would be great. Sure, 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 sure. <laughs> To this day, I actually can't watch this clip without laughing. Hey, that's probably the 
biggest laughing fit I've ever had over something in Rec Room. I was clearly struggling to breathe. That jump scare was so loud and my friend Flax had like zero reaction to it, which totally killed me. I get way too scared in horror maps. Actually, IT Chapter 2 might be an older map, but it freaked me out so much of the time. Let me know if you guys have checked out IT Chapter 2 story. It's like classic Rec Room right there. All right, next clip. If you're tired at the end of a long day, you're just feeling overwhelmed with the rec room drama that's been going on, and you need a peaceful escape, then come to Exotic Spa. We offer many services here at the spa to help you feel relaxed and rejuvenated, from meditation services to instrumental music and yoga. Here at Exotic Spa, we value your mental health and well-being, and our only goal is to make sure that you are feeling rejuvenated and tranquil, so you can feel back to your normal self in no time. Spa services are $199.99 US per month based on a three-year contract. Ow, the chlorine's burning my eyes. Oh, I was so goofy back then. I love old me. <laughs> I know I didn't even script this. I literally just went to this map and I thought it would be neat to make a little commercial about it since the name was Exotic Spa. But the aspect ratio again is completely off here. I don't even know why I uploaded this in that format. And clearly I didn't know that I could turn voice lines off either. Still, I'm not mad at this. It's silly. And I had all sorts of fun, stupid ideas to make videos about back. That's the joy of being a new content creator, I guess. You can kind of get away with anything because you don't have an audience yet. Actually, maybe I should remake some of these with better editing now. All right, so I'm pretty ashamed of the next clip that I'm about to show you guys. I'm honestly so ashamed of myself for this. So I filmed this during my experimental phase, as you could tell. I was literally experimenting with different colors and textures in my editing software and experimenting with unique concepts. Like, who wouldn't want to see a short of someone dancing in random costumes, right? Like, I sincerely thought this would go viral at the time. I am not joking. I mean, the music is kind of a bop in hindsight, but that's about the extent of it. If you've experienced cringe at all during this video so far, be sure to use code Tara in Rec Room. I know that doesn't make any sense, but I have to mention the code at some point, so now Now's as good a time as any. Oh, and we're not done with my weird experimental phase, as you will see in the next clip here. Oh no. Where am I? I ended up on a deserted island? Wilson. Wilson. Oh my god, it's a wild boar. I better collect some fruit to survive. I'm really not too sure what I was thinking with that one. <laughs> Castaway vibes? But it's too cheerful for someone who just shipwrecked and woke up on a deserted island. I don't even have more to say about this, except I just wish it was a longer skit. Surely I could have skewered that wild boar eventually, rebuilt a raft and fled. I guess I was probably just rushing to get another one minute video out to meet my upload schedule deadline. And now we have the classic interview with Coach Cliff. Hello everyone. Today we have a serious interview. I've obtained exclusive rights to interview Coach. That's right, the one and only elusive Coach. Everybody always asks, who is Coach? Does he even exist? And I'm here to tell you, he does. So Coach, what is the hardest part for you of being the face of Rec Room, but also having nobody know who you are? Do you feel like you've missed out on notoriety? I mean, it's been years, and I've been working on all of this behind the scenes. And I haven't been able to get credit for any of it because nobody knows my name or who I am. That's the sad reality of being in the Rec Room Protection Program. That's very understandable, Coach. Okay, in what universe did I think that Coach was a guy? <laughs> I think this video actually did okay, not because it's good or anything, but because of the engagement. So many people were mad in the comments <laughs> since Coach is a girl, and I felt so dumb not realizing that Coach is the voice you hear in the game, not some random character that no one knew anything about. I still feel stupid about this one. Next, we have the video clip from when sushi consumables first came out. Okay. Sushi party for one. Wow, <laughs> it's actually really freaking beautiful. Here, I'll show you guys what I'm seeing. Look at that glorious, glorious sushi. You can't tell me that's not worth 675 tokens. Come on now. So I have an interesting backstory about this video. Uh, brings me back. So I filmed this from a hotel room at like six in the morning. It was August, 2021, and I had been evacuated from my home due to wildfires in my province. And so I had to stay in a hotel for literally like three weeks and the emus had to stay in my parents' yard and it was just 
absolute stressful nightmare, but this was also a time where my channel was not even at 2,000 subscribers, and I knew that putting out breaking news videos could really help your numbers, so I was always determined to try and get them out before, or at least at the same time, as someone named Banana Boy, who is also someone that made Rec Room News videos. And so, in the process of chasing those views, I woke up, I found that sushi consumable dropped, and I was recording in like this hushed voice, because <laughs> it was so early at the hotel, and I didn't want to make a lot of noise, so if it seems like some sort of weird sushi ASMR, it's not. I had a reason for it. The next video clip is from The Truth About Being a Rectuber. When you're a Rectuber starting out, it's next to impossible to gain subscribers. Every single kid aged 12 to 15 in the United States, UK, or Canada that plays Rec Room also wants to be a Rec Room YouTuber, just like you. Most are just capturing gameplay and not editing it in any way, shape, or form, but this does not mean that the market is not flooded. It's kind of hard to get discovered unless you find a way to stand out. And trust me, you don't stand out. I know it sucks and it's hard to hear, but I think my candor is what you like about me. Ouch. 2021 Therapeutic was kind of mean, NGL. <laughs> when I made this video, I was definitely feeling the work that went into grinding from zero subscribers to almost 2,000. I realized it was much harder than it actually looked to break out of the pack and establish a brand where people recognize you, so if I come off a bit cynical here, that's probably why. All right, let's watch a little bit more of this. And really, the reason that I put so much pressure on myself is twofold. One, I want this badly. And two, I am not going back to work for someone else for minimum wage to deal with people. God, I hate people. Customers are the world's worst. Trust me, I know my demographic is like kids 12 to 15 years old who have not yet entered the workforce, but let me give you some future advice. The customer is not always right. They're not. And if you can master the art of smiling and nodding at them while clenching your nails into your fist in a tight ball so hard that they almost bleed, then you will go far in life. <laughs> I stand by this life advice, actually. Oh, this is so hilarious to me right now. So I've worked from home for myself for almost three years now, and watching that clip just reminds me of how bitter I was dealing with customers at my old jobs. Like, I still think customers are the world's worst. Actually, this is one of my favorite videos for a long time. The rants I went through here are like realer than most things I've posted on my channel. The struggle to claw your way up in the YouTube world is real. I feel like I captured that very well in this script. Uh, moving right along to the best and the worst, Wreck and Weapon. The crossbow from Golden Trophy. If there was ever a more sought after and coveted weapon across all of Rec Room, I have yet to hear about it. You come around the corner and there it is on the ground, looking abandoned from a previous player for reasons unknown. Suddenly, no one wants their useless swords or bows. And why would they, when they can have a crossbow that shoots crooked, rusty arrows right into the hearts of the unsuspecting goblins? I mean, sure, the crossbow may take some adjusting to, and it may not be exactly the most powerful weapon in the game, and it may not shoot straight, and it may not even kill a goblin in one hit, but this is not a weapon that you should be overlooking. So I had this brilliant idea of making a video that would annoy the entire Rec Room community, apparently. I sarcastically listed the weapons in Rec Room from best to worst, but I made the good ones sound horrible and the horrible ones sound good. Uh, the comments. Grab your popcorn for the comments section. I was such a little troll back then. All right, let's take a look at the most popular video on my channel. Number two. People who forget to mute their mics while talking to people in real life. Now we all know that your mom is heading to Taco Bell to pick up your favorite meal of three crunchy tacos supreme and a Baja Blast while we stand there tapping our feet during Golden Trophy. It literally just takes a second to mute your mic so we don't hear Tell them no cheese, mom. I'm lactose intolerant, remember? And all sorts of other facts we're probably better off not knowing about you. Just mute your mic. Man, I was sassy. Am I still that full of attitude or have I become watered down the more my channel grows? Who knows, but I don't know, this makes me laugh. I'm secretly not mad at the non-muted players, by the way. I love hearing a good fast food order being yelled in the background. I don't mind waiting. Well, this is our first time on a vacation, but we're really excited, so give us a flight. Yes, one flight, please. I've never been out of the country before. I've never even been on an airplane before, so this is super awesome. Will there be a free meal on this flight, sir? Am I allowed to take my therapy dog on board with me? Is our first checked bag free on this flight or no? So what's it like working for Rec Room Air? Good airline? I heard good things. <laughs> this is so goofy. Like, the interesting thing is, none of these skits were scripted. We were just winging it the entire time and laughing, like having fun coming up with things to say. I remember having a concept in mind. In this case, the video ends in a plane crash. That's kind of morbid in hindsight. In general, like, it was all improv. I'm much more of a planner now. Okay, this is a good one. This is the first time that I played Rec Royale. The music's so peaceful before we all die horribly. I mean, that's the name of the game right now is loot, and then keep eye on the swarm. Where did our teammate go? Oh well. Rip. 
Where is everybody? It's kind of creepy. How do I reload this thing? Or it doesn't it's reload. <laughs> it doesn't. It's like a, it's a paintball gun. I'm so glad you put up with my stupid questions. I mean, I don't know. How do I save you? Good shit, good shit. High five me. Oh, that's how you do it? I think I grazed someone's elbow with the purple sniper, so I'm not trying to flex. I was so pathetic. I didn't know that a paintball gun doesn't reload. I didn't know how to snipe. I didn't know how to revive. Ugh. We totally got wiped out by one of those league players. I can tell by the way they're bouncing around and communicating in a disgustingly effective manner with their teammates. I think I have over like 600 Rec Royale wins now, but I haven't played in forever. So I probably suck at it all over again. And the circle of life continues. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tara and I have a special video for you guys today. It is from our Pirates Quest a couple weeks ago with my friends Lazy and Flax. And it was like over an hour long for the quest, so I narrowed it down just into the funniest moments. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. And as usual, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I upload new footage twice a week, Wednesdays and Fridays. Okay guys, see you, enjoy the video. I go again about the pirates quest it's called isle it's such a rookie mistake too telling people to subscribe before they've even seen any of your content while bouncing my head around in the mirror so my shots are like dizzying to look at and i got so much flack for that rotating logo intro even though i think it's still kind of cool and it's almost 2024 unpopular opinion bring back the therapeutic intro logo i know terrible idea well, I had so much fun revisiting my old content for this video. Much as I joke around, I recently hit 80k subs, and I'm so thankful for all of you who hit that subscribe button and continue to support my channel, especially by using code Terra in Rec Room. I'm not ashamed of my old videos, even if they are cringe, because everybody starts at zero subscribers and has to learn everything from scratch. I'm so proud that I somewhat know what I'm doing nowadays. For example, instead of just saying bye, see you next time, I'm encouraged to get you to watch another video, which helps tell the algorithm that you're enjoying my content and YouTube. So. I put another video on screen here that you should go watch next. We'll see you over there. 